Oh my god, my boobs look amazing. Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zoe Black and uh, yeah, we haven't done a video like this in a really, really long time. I think the last time I did an update on HRT was like two or three years ago and we are back. Um, this has been sort of highly requested and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into it. So I've been on hormone replacement therapy for six years now. Like wow, six years, that's wild. To be honest, it hasn't been the easiest journey ever. I think I struggled quite a bit in the beginning um, because I didn't have access to a lot of the sort of gender affirming healthcare that I needed at the time. And there were lots of ups and downs. I remember when I came out initially, I took some time before I made the decision to actively go on hormones. I wanted to like think things through before I sort of did things that was gonna impact my life in a particular way. And I guess I'm that kind of person that likes to take my time when making decisions. And I am so, so glad that I did because I'm in such a great place now. When I started Hormone six years ago, I was doing it through the state. Now, for many of you who don't live in South Africa, uh, there are only two facilities around the country, state facilities that provide gender affirming care to trans people. And one of them is here in Cape Town. I was really, really lucky to live in Cape Town and have access to that in a particular way. But there were all kinds of barriers to entry just to get access to hormones. Going to Grotteskir Hospital on an almost monthly basis for like three years was incredibly exhausting and taxing. But nevertheless, I got into HRT. I was on the pills for a long time. And that sort of did all kinds of amazing things for me. Um, like my skin started going like incredibly soft. And now six years later, like it's like, it's so soft. <laughs> like one of the things that people always ask is, does the hormones like get rid of like your body hair and stuff? And it doesn't to a certain degree. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I still have like hair on my arms here. Like it's, it's still there, but the hair's gone like a lot thinner. And I used to have like hair like everywhere, like particularly on my chest. That's also sort of disappeared now, which is amazing. So the thinning of the hair and stuff was something that took quite a bit of time. So if you're like wondering about that, just be patient with yourself if you're starting hormones and stuff, because it's going to take a while. One of the first things that I started noticing wasn't necessarily anything physical, but my brain chemistry started shifting first. Before going on estrogen, I used to experience the world very like head first, very logically, and then process the emotions like secondary. But when I started going on hormones, suddenly that shifted for me and I started experiencing the world like, I don't know how else to describe this, but like heart first. And I was incredibly emotional because, you know, hormones are all over the place at that time. But it was really, really incredible to feel that sort of mental shift in terms of how I was engaging with other people, how I was experiencing myself in the world and how I was, I guess, feeling things a lot more than I was before. And of course, because this is why you click the video, the amount of breast growth that I have had over the last six years has been incredible. Honestly, like I think I'm at like a B or a C cup. I think, I mean, C might be pushing it just a little bit, but like they look really, really full and really, really great. So I think there are like two major things that impacted how my breasts grew to the degree that they did. And the first one was because I started on the pill first. I was on the oral medication, which was a estrogen pill and a androgen suppressant as well. And I was on that for like three years. And during that period, I kind of experienced like a fair amount of growth and then it like plateaued after a while. And while I was on the oral medication that I was getting through the state. And when I could afford private healthcare, I then switched over to the injectable medication. And that changed everything. Changing from the pill to the injection suddenly like 
like boosted my breast growth like all over again and then suddenly my boobs were like being like really really tender and like I couldn't wear bras because they were like they were like really really sore and so when I started the injection one of the things that my doctor had said to me was that if I am on the injectable and if I've achieved a particular let's call it level of estrogen in my system my body will automatically stop producing or suppressing um, the androgens in my body. So altogether, I stopped taking the blockers uh, for my testosterone. And honestly, when I did that, I started feeling really, really incredible. Those blockers have all kinds of side effects. One of the things that the blockers also did was like mess up my eyes. Like my eyesight was deteriorating quite a bit and I hadn't actually thought that the that deterioration, I guess, was associated with the blockers. But then my doctor said to me that, you know, this is sort of one of the side effects. And I was like, so yeah, I stopped the blockers altogether. So now I'm only on the injection and I am so damn happy about that. Like, what? And then other things also started happening aside the breast growth. And those were things like around the fat redistribution around my body and the shape of my butt. Like it got so full and so round. And the other thing that contributed really towards my breast growth is just purely like on genetics. Like my body is a particular body type and I hold on to muscle, I hold on to fat really, really easily. Like look at this, like you can see, like I've got, yeah, like my body like holds on to these things. And so I think as a sort of natural consequence of then, you know, going on hormones, there was like a lot of fat like around my boobs and yeah. <laughs> there are these few iconic moments in my life and going on hormones was one of them. Like it changed my life in so many ways. That said, things haven't always been the easiest ever. It's been really, really hard. And while I guess like I feel a little bit, I guess, better about myself and about my body. And I feel very affirmed in my gender. And a large part of that is attributed to hormones. They are, I guess, things that are not so pretty on the other side of that. Because of my body type, I guess, um, like I said, like I hold on to weight really, really easily. Um, one of the things that being on hormones did was it made me gain so much weight and particularly as I'm getting older it's been more and more difficult to I guess keep that in check and it's had all kinds of I guess knock-on effects for my self-esteem um, and sometimes not I guess wanting to go out uh, your clothes not fitting and not feeling you know comfortable in your own skin and that's one of the downsides I guess. The other difficulty which isn't really about myself but because I have to take the hormones so regularly I have to be like really really strict with myself about when it is I'm doing my shot. If I forget I find myself becoming incredibly moody and emotional and sometimes unpleasant to be around and for the people in my life that's sometimes that's really really hard and i think a lot of the the difficulties and maybe even some of the arguments and disagreements i've had um over the last couple of years has potentially in part been a result of you know your hormones like fluctuating up and down and causing all kinds of mood swings and stuff sometimes i feel incredibly guilty about that um, for the people in my life who have to be around that and that's, you know, something that is within my control so it's just like, yeah, that stings a little, you know. And I guess maybe part of that conversation is people ask me if I'm happy with where I'm at. <laughs> the short answer is yes, but that's... I guess there's a little bit more depth to that in a way because happiness is I guess a relative term and so while I'm incredibly grateful for all the things that hormones have done in my life like wow like like I'm I am so so freaking happy about the things that it's done for me it 
there are certain things that it's the not so nice things that I guess I'm still struggling with and a large part of that is my weight, I think. But I'm incredibly grateful to have the life that I have and be able to live that freely and openly and with so much honesty and authenticity. It's, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Okay, cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments of this video and I'll do my best to answer them. And also check out this other video, which also talks to sort of HRT for trans women. And I hope that's helpful to you or somebody that you know. Cool. I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao.